Hello, I'm Carl Rowland with Sherline Products. This video, we're going to go over uh, basics on our Linux system that we've had for a long time. So when you turn it on, it'll come up and eventually go to the screen here that shows all the icons. What we have is our 5400 mil. Uh, this is a lead screw mill with uh, Imperial lead screws on it. Okay, so each one of these icons, if you look at it, It'll say Sherline 4-axis mil inch, 4-axis mil millimeter, lathe, uh, next gen. So these icons define your machine. And all the settings for each one of those is set up according to the travel of your machine, what the lead screw is, and the display will be their intermetric depending on what your machine is. So for this one, what I would do is click on the icon for the Sherline 4-axis mill inch. And your control page comes up. These machines don't have limit switches, so you, basically you would indicate your part in or find a corner of your part, and then you would zero out your axis. To zero out your axis, you can either zero out an individual axis by clicking on the axis and then clicking, for instance, this is X axis and click X zero, or you can click all zero. When you click all zero, all of the positions turn to green and you'll get two messages down here that don't mean anything. So you can clear the messages just by clicking on the message bar. So right now, where the machine is, is X, Y, Z, and A0. Um, you would load a program. So you would go to Auto to load a program. You can go to Editor, File, Open. Okay, and it comes up with a directory. This will run .nc programs, .txt programs. Right now it defaults to um, Actually, it's on all programs. If, if you want, want just text files or NC files, you click on those. Uh, because we have multiple programs in this one, we just leave it as all files. And then you just pick out your program. I'm going to pick out whole circle, open, and this is actually, this is a very basic program. And if I go to back plot, as it's running the program, it'll actually show the cutter path on the screen. So if I take back plot off, I can go back to edit. What I'd like to show is we'll go back to manual right now. When we're on the manual screen for jogging, okay, you have a feed rate override bar right here. So you can increase or decrease. The max feed rate on these machines are gonna be 32 inches per minute. In your program, all the feeds are in inches per minute. They're not in, in or millimeters per minute. They're not in um, inches per revolution. When you're jogging, once you've got it set here, you can either choose increment and you'll get increment values here for each click. It's gonna be one inch, 10 thousandths, or hundred thousands, ten thousands, one thousandths, or one tenth, or you can go continuous. So in continuous mode, you've got your jog in whatever axis you pick. So Y axis, um, jog minus, and jog plus. So if I'm in continuous and I just click and hold the Y minus, Y plus, change my axis, X minus, or I'm sorry, X plus, and then you've got Z axis, minus and plus, and A axis, minus and plus. And that's going really slow. This is defaulted down. I'll increase it up. All right, so if I'm going incremental, if I have an edge finder or an indicator, I would go to incremental. I would pick out the increment that I want to move per click. So we'll say 100 thousandths per click. It'll put a black dot there. Now each time I click on an axis, plus or minus, it'll move 100 thousandths per click. All right, 
So that's your jog incremental and continuous. I just jogged my A axis randomly. The other thing you can do is go to MDI. So in MDI, you're punching an actual G code to tell it to move to a certain place. So right now my A axis is showing 5.82 degrees. If I want to get it back to zero degrees, I would punch in G90, G00, A0.0 .0, and enter and it moved right back to zero. Very important in MDI and in your program. One of the biggest mistakes that are made in programming is because on your keyboard, the O, letter O, and the zero are right next to each other. So one of the biggest mistakes that are made is that when you're typing in your code, you inadvertently hit the letter O instead of zero when you're punching in a G90 or you're punching in you know, X plus 0 0.025 and it'll be an O. When you look at your program, like a program here, your program will go through and all of a sudden when it gets to that line of code, it's gonna stop. And then you look at your program and you're going, well, there's nothing wrong with that code. And that's because the capital O and the zero look almost identical. So just a heads up, if you have problems and it's it doesn't run your MDI code or it stops in your program, check to make sure that your zeros are zeros and not O's, and that'll save you a lot of grief. Uh, let's see, next. okay. The next one, and this is also very important, with the Linux system, when I go over here and click on Tools, the page that comes up, this is the default page, and none of this information is correct. So if I come in the here and, and for tool number one, I change any of these values, the control is not gonna read anything that's on that page right now, and you're gonna be frustrated, okay? So what you wanna do is when you first open up your tooling page, you want to click on remove last tool, click it again, so all your tools are gone, and then go add extra tool. When you go to add extra tool, now the information and the way it's set up is correct. Okay, so on this, you would touch off your tools, you have your tool length, you have your diameter, and then you can type in whatever you want for the actual tool description. So that's another one on the, the tool setting.